Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome back to Metroid Prime 2. In the last episode, we... What did we do? Oh, we went through... There's, there's the X button. We went through... We started here at safe station number 2. Went through this room and that room. Got space jump. Went over to where the Dark Aegon Temple is at and got our first temple key. Then we made our way back to the light world. And started going through. Here, here you go. Started going through the command center of where the space pirates crashed. And we arrived at Safe Station C. And on this episode, we saw a mysterious figure in this area. And it headed towards this room. So we're going to be heading towards that room. I don't have. Are there any boxes around here? I really could use some missiles. Maybe in the next room. Well, this next room is the bugs. And th this next room is the half pipe looking room. And turrets. Wait, did I have a scan? No, I already have. So what is that? Brinstone. What destroys brinstone? Missile? Yes, missile. But I'm low on missiles. I, I need, I need missiles. Okay, I am now in the main reactor. Space right there. Ooh. Oh, looks like I only got one way. Meet Dark Samus. If I can scan her, scan her, scan. There we go. Dark Samus is, all in all, someone that we don't really know. It's just our. It's it's like our dark Aether counterpart, except we have we haven't been taken over by the Ing. Surprisingly, so we have. She has the same amount of. Uh, energies that I can do. Energies. Attacks. Where is she at? Where did she go? I have her on my radar. There she is. But also, when you scan it, it's a Dark Samus 1. I have, that's, that's kind of a spoiler. That, that just means we're gonna be, I, I won't, actually, I won't mention why that's Dark Samus 1. Yep. What could it mean? What could it mean? Oh, don't hit me. Oh! No, 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 no. Whoop! Ow. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, she's at half health? Oh, okay. So she is now... I don't know what she's doing. Oh, she now has... She has an energy shield now, so you have to wait for her to... Lose all her energy, I guess. Oh! Dodge that. Can I attack her? When can I attack her? Now, I guess. Oop. Dodge this. Did not dodge it. Get out of your bubble. I guess I can't use my... Charge beam on her. Oh, do not destroy me. Crap, I keep on losing her. Oh, I hit her. Never mind. Ow. Nope, that's too late. Oop, nope, nope, she's gonna shoot me. I wish you would quit getting out of my... Quit losing my lock-on on her. Whoa, okay. Oh, she pushed me back a little bit. I guess I was kind of... Kind of thankful for that. Oh, she's gonna charge me. Please dodge. Ow, she jumped into me. 
No, 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 no. Ow. I'm, I'm running into fire now. Ah. As long as I keep this giant pillar in the middle between us, and she won't hit me with that weapon. Crap. All right. Emerge from your cocoon. Come on. Crap. She's almost... She's almost done. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, come on. I need time to attack you. There we go. There's one There's one attack. Can I use missiles on her? No, I can't. Don't use missiles on her. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. There we go. Got her. Pretty blue dust. Also, now, we scan this thing, we can see exactly what it was dealing with. It was dealing with Phazon, our favorite blue friend from Metroid Prime 1. I guess that's why the it's all blue dust. So, an elevator drop down. We have a spider ball track here, but we can't deal with that right now. And mostly whenever we fight a boss, we get something. Open this door up. Since we can't... We can't exactly go that way because it's kind of locked off. So this door's the only way we can go. And right here is the dark beam. So now, whenever I press right on the C-Stick, I now switch to the Dark Beam. Now, one complaint that I think Metroid Prime 2 gets is the fact that its beams aren't exactly really that different from... Wow, that was all kinds of con convoluted right there. The, the beams aren't exactly that different from the beams from Metroid Prime. This is basically just a reskin of the Ice Beam. As you can see, whenever you shoot out, it's very slow, it's kind of sluggish. If you charge it up a lot, it like encodes your gun in like some crystal stuff, and if you shoot an enemy with that, or if you shoot like at the wall with that, it'll encase them in like dark energy, which will cause them to freeze, and you can use that like a missile to destroy them. There's a log right here that I completely forgot about. Also, in this game, the different beams have ammo systems. As you can see on the right hand side of the screen, I now have an ammo counter underneath my missile counter. I have 40 ammo. If I shoot a box with the dark beam, I can pick up these, which are ammo. Or if I have the the same beam out at the same time, it'll hover straight towards me. Now I don't I don't exactly get the I mean I don't get the hate of why just because it's a slightly reskinned color it's a reskinned ice beam that that makes it a bad skin. I'm missing a no. I'm not missing one. I know where it is. I think it's just fine. I mean, the dark beam. What what would you expect darkness to do, really? I can't. I can't. I can't exactly think of what darkness would do. We get enemies joining here now. Actually, this is a different kind of enemy. Pirate grenadier. See, look. Like he, oh wow, that took him out quick. I was gonna shoot him, but yeah, each shot with a dark beam costs one ammo. If you do a charge beam with it, it costs you five ammo. And right now we have fifty ammo. Oh, what was that? Oh, he's right here. See, look, I'm gonna freeze him. Watch this. Where'd he go? I think I just destroyed him. Okay, never mind. But we're gonna head over to Dark Aether since. Hint, wink. This portal is inactive. I didn't scan it before, but I should scan it now. It's inactive. Can be energized with dark energy. Also, the, the black doors are obviously opened by this. So now it opens up as a portal to dark aether. 
strange. That should give me a... I guess it's only on the... I guess it's only on the... See, look right here. This is the re... Like, look at the shadows. The shadows are flipped. That is something that is kind of a glitch during these cutscenes. Like, the light... The light should appear on the side. That's a light either. Oh, right, right up there's a key. So, we saw a bunch of space pirates go through this door. As you can see right here. <laughs> they, they got like five feet before they died. Not exactly the best. Also, you can see there's a bunch of Phazon in Dark Aether. Apparently, Dark Aether just riddled with it. Also, and now, I, I should probably show this off. Here is a beacon. We've already dealt with beacons. I shouldn't really show this off. But, if you shoot a beacon with a dark beam... And let me quickly scan this. You get nullified beacon. This basically means you, can, you cannot use that beacon until it is fixed. Or until... You know, let me just shoot it with normal energy. See if that fixes it. There we go. Got it. I'm open the, open the, get me over here. Get me over here. So right here is a nullified. This is the exact. This is the exact same as a beacon, except this is a crystal. It's a nullified crystal. Let me shoot it a couple times. There we go. So if you really want to, I don't understand why you would. It's kind of pointless, really. Right here is. Brimstone, so let me shoot that with a missile. I missed, and that was my last missile. I really should have locked on to that thing, or at least aimed. Give me some missile ammo. Okay, that, that, that thank you. Alright, let's shoot that thing. This has a light lift crystal. Kind of like what those door mechanisms were. I shot those light, those light crystals, those white crystals with the dark beam, and they opened. Shoot this with the dark beam. And it will lower. Now I can just double jump up here. Uh, yeah, so we have the key there. We can't... I don't think we can get it right now. I think there's a way you can get it right now. Or maybe there's a way you can get it right now. Yeah, I can. Oh, there's things right here. Dark Preed. Oh, look at that! 40% of all logbook scans downloaded. I now unlock the promotional gallery. And it can be accessed from the Metroid Prime 2 menu. I didn't think I'd read... No, I guess I, I guess I would read 40%. So, I shot it. I think those, like, little... Oh, crap. Those... I mean, were, were they called Preeds in Metroid Prime 1? They, they, they did the exact same thing where if I... I guess I can reach this. Okay. I didn't think I could reach it right now. I don't know why. But I'm in the poison. This is very bad. Because I'm losing double health. Ah! See, there's a there's a dark door right there. I don't think I can take that yet, because I think if I open it, I will just enter a hallway that I can't enter really. So let's go this way, because this is this is the way. Uh, uh. Well, let's just check it. Check this out. I think I'm right. I think I can't go this way yet, but let me just double check. Because if I can, then I'm gonna feel like an idiot. Don't do not shoot that with. Oh, here's a dark splinter. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Just die. Did that one just fall or did it go away? Okay, I was right. You can't go this way. Because that is a white door. I can't enter white doors. Where did this dark splinter go? No, no, no. Die. There we go. Okay, enough view. I don't think there's anything over here I, sh I can even scan. Nope, okay. Guess that was for... Well, I guess I'd... I... I needed to just make sure 100% that it was correct. Wow, I have I have no health. I've spent way too much time in the darkness. Let me get over here. Enter this. <laughs> Quickly switch over to the light, the dark beam. Ugh. Oh yeah, this guy. I can't, I can't, I, I shouldn't really shoot him. Can I shoot him with dark energy? Where did he go? I think he just hit the, oh, he's right here. If I shot him with the dark beam, would it kill him? No, it deals, it deals a lot of damage. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I just nullified the beam. Oh. Ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. I'm not having the best time right now. I'm kind of failing pretty bad. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There he is. Please die, please die, please die. 
See, these guys are... I'm making these guys seem a lot harder than they really are. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Just die, just die, just die. Oh, I shot the... I shot the crystal. I need to stop shooting the crystal. Let me go back to the dark beam. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's right here. He's almost dead. Oh, my dark beam ammo is depleted. So it when you're... I guess I can show this off. When your ammo is depleted, did I actually kill him? You can't shoot just by pressing the A button. But if you charge your beam, you'll basically just shoot a normal shot. So you can still use your dark beam if you don't have any ammo, but you have to charge it up. And even when you do charge it up, it still only acts as a normal shot. So let me go... Over here, I guess that's I guess that's a that's a mechanism to avoid running out of ammo. Like, say say you have to go one way and you're stuck in this room, and over there is a white door. Got a bunch of inglets here. I think they're inglets. Yeah, these are inglets. They're not normal warriors. Please just die. Give me some ammo too, or some health. Health would be wonderful. I can't get ammo. I could use some ammo. I have 10 ammo. When did I get that? You know, I'm not even going to argue. Got a dead body right here. I shouldn't scan him. There's no need to. Ow! Well, that was kind of weird. Path right here. Here's that half pipe room again. Go right over here. Give me some ammo, please. What am I doing? I should be shooting these with dark beam. There we go. No ammo? Never mind. Up here we have a lift crystal. Wait, can I scan this now? Is it different? Yes, it is. Oh, it's a dark lift crystal. Okay. That makes a little more sense. Okay, do not shoot this. And here we have a save station. This is save station three. I guess they're numbered in dark aether and they're just letters in normal aether. So I think I'm going to call this an episode. It's a little shorter than yesterday, but would it, would, would it be yesterday? No, it wouldn't be. This is episode six. Yeah, it would be. It would be yesterday. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm. I'm. Well, then again, I just I still don't know if the Super Mario 64 Versus is going to come out on the correct day. It hasn't correct. It hasn't come out on the correct day in the past two weeks. In fact, it didn't even come out last week. I'll just say yesterday to be on the safe side. Actually, I really shouldn't say yesterday if I want to be on the safe side. But on the next episode of Metroid Prime 2, I forgot the name of the game. We are going to be continuing to go through this area because I could I could not I could not go through those doors. And I have a feeling that something is there's a bunch of white doors here that we have no way to open. So if we continue going through these blue doors, maybe we'll find a way to open up the white doors. So until next time. Hopefully you enjoy.